Assalam o Alaikum and very good morning grade 7 we will proceed to our next topic and that topic is dispersal of seeds how plants disperse their seeds it's page number 46 top that is telling the stages in the development of a fruit tomato fruit you have to draw these pictures these stages then here it is told what a seed what are fruits how uh, fruits are dispersed by animals wind water and explosive uh, mechanism here it is also detailed the same thing here some germination starting is told so what are seeds and how do they germinate the cotyledons are the leaves in seeds seeds have a zygote the fertilized embryo and seeds have two leaves or one leaf it depends on their type cotyledons are with full of food they that food tissue is also called endosperm when they get suitable situation and water they start growing the cotyledon grow into uh, roots and shoots you can see in the video as well here I am telling you by when dandelion is spreading its seeds by water there is a plant it is shedding its leaves uh, seeds by explosive phenomena I have shown two videos you can see one man is just picking it by just touching it explodes the seeds explode in the same way uh, some animals also help in the dispersion of seed here the herbivores are not shown but herbivores uh, play a very important role now question number eight you have to write this question very neatly in your journal question number eight is list four ways in which plants disperse or scatter their seeds have you written this question neatly now the answer is the main ways in which seeds are dispersed is by the wind by animals by water and by explosive mechanisms you can also write these as bullets or you can also write the details that are shown in the pictures or pages of page number 44 46 40 7 it's all up to you but this answer will also will be enough now write question number 9 in your journals very neatly what do you think that seeds form in the autumn do not grow until the following spring and why will seeds formed in dry weather not start to grow until there is rain it is very obvious that seed needs some suitable conditions it has a hole that absorbs water then the leaves the cotyledon start growing so the answer is seed swarm in the autumn will not grow during the winter because the temperatures are too low for germination to occur seed swarm in dry weather will not grow because they need water to germinate okay you have to write it very neatly you know that very well that in winter the temperature is low and in autumn it is dry and in both conditions plants do not germinate seeds do not germinate so they will definitely germinate in spring season or in rainy season the answer is written here you can add your information as well it's up to you let's revise the process pollen fall pollen grain falls on the stigma a pollen tube develops and goes down into the style and gets into the ovary where it meets with the ovule the male nuclei combine with the female gamete and uh, the endosperm it forms a zygote this zygote develops into an embryo this embryo may have two leaves or one leaf if it will have two leaves then it will be dicot seed if it will have one leaf it will be monocot seed okay 
this ovule becomes seed and this fruit ovary become fruit now stages for the development of seed are shown here the ovule in the ovary become seed and endosperm is the tissue which helps in the food which supply food the cotyledon may be one or two okay now embryo in the seed has endosperm or cotyledon or cotyledons if it is dicot then it has two leaves if it is monocot it has one leaf the seeds are in ripened ovary ripened ovary is called fruit this fruit after dispersal of seed will uh, this fruit will ripen and will disperse the seed these seeds will again grow and become a new plant okay now seeds develop into a new plant after dispersal dispersal occurs by four ways we have studied by animal by wind by water or by explosive phenomena we have all studied the parts of flower we have studied the pollination then fertilization here we will study germination that seed develop into a new plant seed has a pore it absorbs water it has plumule and radical plumule develops into shoot and radical develops into root so the fertilized ovule then divides up into a ball of cells here it's a fertilized ovule it develop into ball of cells this ball of cells is called embryo the remains of the center of the ovule this remains in the center of the ovule and becomes surrounded by a tissue called endosperm when embryo later begins to grow the endosperm supplies it with food meanwhile the ovule itself becomes the seed and its outer wall hardens to form the tough seed coat while this happening the ovary develops into a fruit do you know what is happening this is the flower flower after fertilization becomes fruit and the ovules become seed okay flower ovary become fruit and ovule become embryo or seed this fruit then ripens and after ripening it becomes red in tomato in tomato and when the seeds of tomato germinate they develop into a new plant into a new plant and this plant again blooms again fertilization occurs again the same cycle goes on okay now we will study what is seed and how seed dispersal occurs seed we have said it seed is the fertilized ovule that has developed into embryo now seed need room to grow if all the seed produced by plant fell on the ground around the parent plant there would be not enough room or space to grow so they should be dispersed they should be spread how they are spread after the formation of fruit they are spread because most of the fruits are eaten by animals we also love fruits so when we eat fruits what happens when animals eat fruit brightly colored juicy fruits the blackberry strawberry raspberry gooseberry are often eaten by animals especially birds the hard seeds inside the fruit pass out of the animal's body and in of the animal's body in its dropping the seed may end up a long way from where they were first eaten squirrels and jays may bury acorns or nuts ready to eat later in the winter these animals often forget their and the fruits develop into develop into they is into a new plant okay a number of seeds and fruits such as those gooseberries burdock wood evans have hook and they are caught in the feathers or fur of animals and they are spread in this way so one way to spread seed is by animals and the other way is by wind water explosive dispersal i have shown the videos as well of dandelion pine seeds chilgoza pine seeds also have wings so they are dispersed by wind poppy seeds are also dispersed by winds thistle seeds or dandelion are also dispersed by wind okay 
Now here we will study about the fruit of peas, lupins and labrinum and gorse are pods when they try they split open and uh, are shoot away from the parent plant when they open they are spread away a few se seeds are dispersed by water so the best known example is coconut okay coconut plant is always grown at the coastal areas and it is spread by water now what happens when the seed is dispersed and it gets conditions favorable condition it gets enough water then the inside of seed has an embryo the miniature plant it starts growing see it has a scar where there is a tiny hole water is absorbed by this tiny hole this this is the coat of the seed and the, this is the baby plant this baby plant has this baby plant has embryo has actually plumule radical plumule will uh, develop into shoot or leaf and radical will develop into root and this leaf seed leaf is called cotyledon so this is the structure of seed we will study further in our next video until then thanks for watching this video allah hafiz